ChatGPT have just released images and we're going to compare it today against Gemini. So we've got Nano Banana from Google versus images from ChatGPT, which is now the rebrand. We'll first test it on logos to see if it can create AI ads. We'll then test it as if it can age people, i.e. can it identify kids and turn them into adults, for example. Then we'll see, can it create an image of Jesus that's actually accurate and can it place me in that image? Then can it create a timeline infographic with the key events from the Bible? We'll first briefly cover the release. Um, I'll cover the interface and then we'll get stuck in. So the new release here, the new ChatGPT images is here. And as you can kind of see from this video, it's supposed to keep character consistency across images. Um, so as you can see here, this is all supposed to be from one image that it's creating all this stuff, which is pretty cool. But also, whenever I do these kind of things, it just feels pretty scary, if I'm honest. Let me know in the comments if you think this is pretty scary. And if you think that they've had this technology longer than we have. And maybe, what have they done with it? Anyway, so, loads of editing. Here's an example of, like, here's a couple images. Chuck them together, and then boom. And then, like, update the background. There you go, there's some kids in the background for you. Which does look like AI, but still. And there's a little Ghibli one. I wonder if they ever got permission for that Ghibli stuff. Anyway, there's a little skateboarding shot that doesn't exist, which now does proper dodgy stuff. How this is just like normal now. Um, and then you have like your more creative ones. So for example here, make a movie poster, which looks pretty cool. Turn Sam into a 80s fitness instructor. A couple of glam dolls. Fair enough. Make an ornament. That's creepy. Make a fashion ad. Hey, that looks, uh, that looks pretty well. Dress up character. They're all pretty um, effeminate. Quick break, I've been using a tool called Skywalk that speeds up how you learn and create. Let me show you using one of my own YouTube videos. You simply drop your link into Skywalk and it will do the rest here. So first, it will generate a full guide, which are proper structured content, key moments pulled from the video, the tools that are used, technical details, and even the resources that are mentioned in the video. No more writing all of this stuff manually, which I used to do for my school community. You can now do it all using Skywalk. Then I'm going to get it to create a podcast so that I can learn these kind of things on the go. It then creates this podcast using multiple voices that talk through the topic. Now here you can play it, share it, download it, whatever you want. Creating an AI agent that writes SQL queries for you. And whilst this is happening, it then goes and builds a slide deck that I can then use to teach people how to do this. And here you can see it creates a clean design with diagrams and screenshots, everything that you need to teach or present the topic. And the best part is that you can edit this, you can regenerate if you want, and even export it to Google Slides. And if you want something more shareable, Skywork can create an entire web page based on this video. So that's one input and four outputs here. A guide to help people along the way, a slide deck to help you present, and a web page to host it on with a podcast to listen on the go. Plus, on Skywalk, it's not just for YouTube videos. There's place for documents, slides, sheets, code, podcasts, and that UVibe tool I was just showing you. And all of these have templates which you can use to get started today. And it even has an API so you can start using it inside your automation. Your automations can now create these slide decks, reports, podcasts, websites, all within themselves. So whether you learn, teach, or build, Skywork is a game changer. Go check it out. It will be the first link in the description below. Anyway, back to the video. Sky um, put me in the girl with the pearl earring painting. Cool. And there's a drink. New soda. Very cool. Also, something as well, instruction following. So apparently, it's really good at this type of um, instruction following. Now, I'm not sure from reviews that I've seen, so we'll give it a test. Text rendering, now this one's really quite cool. So first we'll look, here's like an infographic that it's made. So how many calories in a burger? That's very cool. But this one here as well, markdown rendering. So you can actually pass in, if we click on read more here, you can pass in like a whole markdown table. So for anyone who doesn't know, you can write tables in like markdown, markdown, think of it like stylizing font. So creating headers, tables, etc. but all just with normal 
characters and then it will render out so it's, this is the markdown that you see so here we have a table um, and this is the contents of the table and you see it actually renders it out as a table here which is well cool and if we go to coding here how does Fibonacci work and it shows you this infographic here be interesting to see if these actually work additionally um, quality improvements so previously it would create this which looks proper AI whereas now it would create this which looks just kind of AI but depending on where you crop it it could look completely legit which is interesting um, and then they've got this new creation space which is what we'll go and look at now improvements and uh, limitations so improvements here deep sea poster so this is the one they previously used and if you recall when the last model came out 4.0 it was like way ahead of its time for like objects and remembering and so many objects on screen at once um so you know don't get me wrong they, they are good but it's just gemini's just caught both leaps and bounds recently so anyway you can see that it's created this new poster based on depths, which just looks amazing. So it has got much better reasoning in that perspective. World Capitals, again, much better, um, at least in like thought behind it. Now limitations, so draw me like I'm a dark fancy anime, fantasy anime. Um, here, it's not anime, so I suppose that's a limitation. Multiple faces, so I must start getting confused as to who's who when it then has to change a bunch of stuff. And multilingual, apparently this isn't right. I wouldn't know. It's also an API, which is cool. Um, and then you can use it in a bunch of different places. Wix, Canva, Higgs Field, Figma, Weave, and Vato. Um, that looks much more legit than this. So you can see it's coming on leaps, leaps and bounds, man. So let's get into a few tests. So I have a couple of things I want to try. We're going to do this JCB one first. So basically we have a logo here, right? And what I want to do is I want to say something like uh, create a t-shirt from a three quarter view with this logo on it. Make this scene appropriate. And we'll paste that in. And we'll do the same on this side and we'll check how long they take as well. Because basically I want to kind of give it a little bit of creative freedom but test how it looks. So here, data, there we go. Let's submit this and we'll submit this and we'll see how fast it goes. Now, an interesting part here is whilst this is working, we can actually duplicate this out and we can start creating our next one, which is a cool feature here. So if we click create new, we can then do our next one. So another one I wanted to do was this, uh, I seen Matt Wolf do it, which was a pretty cool idea of basically getting like a family at dinner and then just saying like age them up and see what it does and having kids in it is good because then you can actually see if it can, can it figure out all oh, their kids so when i age them up i can't just make them look older they have to like get bigger so let's copy that image and we'll see how's this first one getting on boom gemini's done first and on the left hand side chat gpt is still working mm, not ideal but this one here gemini looks legit like i think it looks slightly off because i'm scrutinizing it but i think generally that's really good and it has a construction site in the background which is good now um, this one's still creating the image so kind of disappointingly slow on that that side so next one let's get this um little family and say age the family by 10 years and we'll see what it does here so let's paste this one in and we'll do the create image on this side create image i don't like all of this stuff i've seen a little video about how chat gpt is becoming facebook <laughs> and it's so true so yeah create another image we'll show it um it's already you know past its coolness this one there we go right so let's compare them side by side you know i think the chat gpt one looks more fake you know because like, the guy looks fake here there's something about it that's kind of fake but it does have like solid amount of uh, like realism to it. It's just it'd be cooler if they had maybe a little crease on it. Like even Gemini has a little crease here, which makes it look more realistic. Um, let me know what you think. Which one? Because uh, it'd be cool to use them for product placement. But I'm not sure. I think maybe Gemini has that one. Let's check the aging of the family. Right. So hey, I am pretty impressed. So on this side, Gemini has actually aged the people up. So here we go. 
we have the little family, two kids, two parents. Um, and then if we see them aged up, it, actually, that looks so legit. They, they do all look about 10 years older, maybe a bit more, maybe more like 15 years older for the kids, but, but it still aged them up into adults. And yeah, that looks legit to me. That's pretty cool. Uh, ChatGPT is still going. Don't know why it's taking so long. Why don't you see how that goes? But I, I'm, I'm pretty underwhelmed with how slow it's taking. There we go. Right, so ChatGPT hasn't even done it yet. So actually, this guy looks about the same age. Like, let's open the old one side by side with us. We can see that the original, the kids have maybe aged a few years. Not many, but the parents look exactly the same, essentially. Yeah, and the kids are maybe like four years older or something, five years older. Um, so I don't know, I feel like Gemini overshot, ChatGPT undershot, but I think Gemini wins on this, for me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Now, let's open up another one. And for this one, what we're going to do is, and I want you to see like, a kind of almost like a bias, see what it says, is I want to get it to create Jesus. Now, make an image of Jesus' face. Because, essentially, I want to see, really, does it make him, like, Middle Eastern? Or does it make him kind of white? Because, if you look at... How do I do that image? If you look at, like, just how... Oh, yeah, it's there. We, um, most paintings and stuff, especially in the West, are all, like, Jesus looks kind of white. Like, he looks like a white guy. But obviously he was Middle Eastern, so he's more Arab. Um, so, more Arab, he, he would have been Arab. So it would be interesting to see what it what it decides here. Although, I would have thought they're both woke enough to, to go with a more authentic one. So let's see. Oh, actually, I don't know. Um, well, anyway, this one here. There you go. He, I mean, he, he looks a bit too white, dare I say. I mean, they both do, actually. They both wouldn't don't look like what I'd have thought Jesus looks like. I like how this one actually is proper like bam. Serene portrait of Jesus. But this one does look a bit more authentic, but in either case, that isn't what he actually would look like. So I suppose for a little bit of character consistency, what we, what we can do is let's see this. So I'm gonna get a little picture of me. I didn't plan on doing this, but hey, let's see what happens. And just say um put me in the pick next to him. And we'll do the same here. Boom. Next to him. Oh, next to the Lord, man. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so let's see see how this vid uh, video picture editing goes here. I think on that one, I'd probably give it to Gemini. Because this looks like a... doesn't even look like an actor playing him, not nowadays. Um... But this looks more kind of like him. But I think they still have the, the general look, which is the beard, long hair, the long, thin nose. Um, but yeah, interesting. Let's see what they come up with next. And most of doing that, what was the last one we'll do? Let's do an infographic. So I want to see a timeline. Let's do an infographic. Timeline. Open one new one here. We'll open a new one here. And we'll say create. An infographic timeline with at least 12 points covering the Bible. We'll send that in. And on this side, we'll do the same thing. So basically, I want to see if it has like a bunch of different people, little pictures, like Noah's Ark boat, that kind of stuff. Um, but it's not done as an image. Oh, come on. Select image. I did select image on this one. Image infographic for teaching. Come on, everybody. Create image. This one, image is already selected. Disappointed. So let's see how Jesus and I are hanging about. Right, so this is an interesting one actually. So on the left hand side here, you can see that it's put me next to the picture of Jesus and it has actually cut me out. It's made me look at the camera, so it's changed me slightly, but it does 
oh, what's a little bit of AI? But it, it looks more or less just like me. And it's correctly put me next to Jesus, which is cool. On the other side here, again, it's moved. It's like, it's moved me here straight to the camera. And it's added this guy who apparently is Jesus, according to Gemini. Um, I don't know how they've, they've got that one. I'm interested actually in the books, all the books behind it, legit. All these real books. I feel like it's just made stuff up. Yeah. Wait, do I have a blue book behind me? No. So it's not got the books right. That would have been weird. But, um, yeah. They've done this one wrong. So they've lost that one. ChatGPT wins. And then the final one, this infographic. Let's see how they're getting on. So, Gemini's done already. Let's check this out. Now, this looks... This looks really pretty good. Biblical timeline. Da 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 da. The words all look legit. Honestly, couldn't tell you off the top of my head if the dates are correct, but this all looks looks pretty legit to me, um, which is cool. Let's see ChatGPT how it's going to get on. It's going to be able to grab the same number of of objects. Oh hey hey, that's cool. I like I do like that one. So I think this one here. I like it. I like it a lot. But I think I like this one artistically more. Wait, hold on. Let's go on here. Is that guy with two heads? I can't zoom in. I'm pretty sure this guy's got two heads. I've never heard a story about a guy with two heads in the Bible. Maybe there is. But anyway. I like this one here, but I think it's um it's not as correct as this one here. So I think it, it loses, wins in artistic form, but loses in, in everything else. Now, let's just open up a couple, we'll, we'll test a couple of like single ones here. Let's open this up. Um, just to have a look around the images thing. So try a style on an image. So we'll plop that same image in. And so it looks like these image like templates are essentially just prompt templates. So we'll transform the subject into classical bobblehead figurine, blah, blah, blah. So they're just going to be prompts for the sounds of it then. Let me check out the images again whilst that works away. So I have my images. So sketch, holiday portrait, blah, blah, blah. It'd be interesting to see Style Me. What would that look as a K-pop star? I have no idea. I feel like a keychain. Pretty cool ones to try out. Uh, but so far, to be fair, I think it's good, but it's not as good as Gemini generally speaking in my opinion let me know if you think i'm wrong if you prefer it um but i think it's most of the kind of chat gpt stuff where i think see honestly personality wise recently i've found chat gpt much better gemini is still just so like stereo i just i'm not a fan of it but something i do worry about with all of this stuff is like if this is what's available publicly what are what's privately being used you know by say intelligence agencies and things like that makes you wonder uh, and why is Cloudflare going down all the time because they're letting little AI robots do all the coding maybe, I don't know so let's see what I look like, is that a bas baseball bobblehead looks like me so far oh my gosh I look, I look like I've got uh, squinty eyes uh, cross, crossed eyes other than that, it does kind of look like me. There you go, that's me as a bobblehead. Ta-da! Pretty cool, but again, these kind of things, although it's AI generated, which is cool, generally, if I'm being honest, loads of these types of like gimmicks feel like the App Store 15 years ago. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you, you know, on board with ChatGPT 5.2 and their images? Or do you think they're trying to chase Gemini and they're just not quite there yet. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Say bye!